the Dodgers spoil another sparkling season, plus a troubling report in Arizona. Good morning. Shout out to Capt. Butter. The MLB playoff picture is clearing up, thanks to another shocking sweep and just some good baseball. Quick updates. The Dodgers are toast. Arizona completed a division series sweep with a 4-2 win over the mighty Dodgers. The Diamondbacks feel like a team of destiny, to be honest, even more so than the Phillies, more on them in a bit. This team simply cannot lose. A stacked LA roster is left bereft in the second straight season of winning 100 or more regular season games and cratering in the playoffs. The Twins are out. Houston closed out the plucky AL Central winners in Minnesota last night with a 3-2 win, advancing to the organization's seventh straight ALCS. Just mind-boggling stuff. The greatness is expected at this point, but they keep finding and developing talent, year after year. Jordan Alvarez hit four home runs and two doubles in the four-game series. Not bad. The Braves are on the brink. That other team of destiny, the Phillies, the same group that magically made the World Series last year, looks charmed again. They walloped Atlanta at home last night, 10-2, and have another home game tonight at 8 p.m. ET on TBS with a second straight trip to the NLCS on the line. Bryce Harper continues to be a postseason superstar, fueled by a sarcastic attaboy. The Braves and Dodgers should start a support group if the Phillies lose tonight. Also last night, the Las Vegas Aces are one win away from a WNBA Finals sweep after a 104-76 blowout win in Game 2. Vegas raced out to a 21-4 lead and never relented. This meeting of super teams might be a dud. Serious matters, an employee survey and a culture of fear. It all started with an employee survey. Today, Kalen Collar has an extensive story detailing a toxic workplace within the Arizona Cardinals organization. It's another bad look for a team with a recent rap sheet of worrisome headlines. The details. Kalen interviewed over a dozen employees for the story, which centers on an illuminating and controversial employee questionnaire from 2019. In normal workplaces, this is standard practice. In Arizona, it was a big deal. Angry responses poured in, exposing an alleged toxicity specifically centered on team owner Michael Bidwill. Many women in the building felt like second-class citizens, and others described unwritten policies about how women should dress and interact with male employees. Other staffers described Bidwill's temper, allegedly so bad that employees were scared to walk by his office. One person said Bidwill screamed at her one day for walking too slowly. Then, nothing. The survey disappeared into thin air, and the organization did nothing about it. Business as usual. Read the full story here, which is worth your time and has plenty of other details, including the team's overall lack of a human resources department. There's also a bizarre detail about Bidwill ordering a new wall constructed to keep female employees from fraternizing with male workers. Healthy. News to know. Brown arrested for murder. Former NFL player Sergio Brown was taken into custody yesterday by police in Illinois in connection with the death of his mother, Myrtle Brown. He was arrested upon re-entering the United States from Mexico. Read the full story here. Hunter could return this weekend. Colorado two-way star Travis Hunter has a tremendous chance to play this weekend against Stanford, Buffalo's coach Deion Sanders said yesterday. Hunter has been out since suffering a liver laceration in the September 16 win over Colorado State. A healthy Hunter probably makes the Buffs a bowl team. Rooney to Birmingham City. Wayne Rooney is back on British soil, officially confirmed as the new manager of championship club Birmingham City. The move wasn't a total surprise, as Rooney parted ways with DC. United over the weekend just after former Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer visited the MLS club. By Chris Branch.